Today I'm going to be showing you how to make the mail system from Hermitraft Season 10. This is designed by Uthuslav and Tendra Tech. I'm not claiming this, I'm just showing you how to build it, and if either of them wants to make a tutorial then I'll obviously take this down. But yeah, so this is all that's done in the overworld, there's obviously more in another, but we'll start with a quick demonstration. So we'll put the shoulder there, that just has a beacon in it, and Let's say I want to send it to myself. So we'll name the stamp, put it in there, and when it's folder to go, set it off, goes into the nether, goes all the way around your mail system, and finds the correct mailbox, comes straight back through, and there's a shelter box with a beacon. So you'll see it's actually not too big of uh, segments, it's just that you'll have to do this a lot of times for all of the parts in your world that you want to connect it to. So we'll start off by showing you how to make the top mailbox system. So to start the mail system, we're going to start with six blocks across of whatever you want the front interface to be. And then this one is going to be the lamp right there, and we'll just bring the frame up and around, leaving a two block hole here and a one block hole there. And this is going to be where the barrel faces, so we'll just put that in like that. We'll put the button right there on top, and we'll also put the anvil right there because I, I don't have a floor. <laughs> you can put it wherever you want. And on top of the barrel, we'll just have a hopper. We'll start by having a piston facing down like that, and a dropper facing down like that and put a fist in here. This is so it pushes the stamp out so it falls down the same hole. And that is how the first section of the mailbox should look. Okay, next we're going to create a series of L shapes, and this is with whatever block you want to put the wiring on. So put one off there and one off this side of the piston to make that L shape. Then coming off this one, and I'll like that. And then wrapping around the barrel and I'll like that as well. Okay, next we're going to come over to this side. We'll build two out, break that one. So now we have one block there. We'll then build that up, and then that up. We'll bring this one up as well, so it's like staircasing upwards. And one more on top, and we'll bring that out to two. So it should look like that. Then we're putting one underneath here, just like that. And also one coming off this block linking up there. Sorry that I'm not being very descriptive with my words, it's hard to describe this. <laughs> but coming off this barrel, we're going to just make like a checkerboard pattern now. Like so. So that's like a fish, I guess. <laughs> and coming off there, that's where the bell will go. So now we have this jumble of blocks. <laughs> we'll start off by putting redstone all across like that and all across this back line too. Next we'll put in the comparators, so there's one here, one there, and one there, all facing this way, or towards the back. Put in our repeaters, no six on those, and this one down here, on four ticks. Now we're going to put in our torches. One on that one, you'll hear that extend. One on this top one, you'll hear that fire. One just below it. And through the back, one right there, and one right there. And also we'll put some redstone on this. Next we're going to hook up the water. So this is going to be like a, a tube and it will overflow into that. So we'll just bring the glass down here. Um, and these tubes, you can probably just dig it out, these will go all the way down to Y13. And then the same for the sending one, we'll just block off all of the space. We'll put a block down there so the piston pushes it off. And this will also be a tube down. I totally forgot this, but put a repeater there. <laughs> that just powers the lamp. So that's most of the main mailbox system done. We can test it right now. We'll put a beacon with something in it and we'll just throw in some smooth stone for the stamp and then it should dispense. <laughs> this is the interface that you interact with, so you need it somewhere uh, 
easily easily accessible. And then we want to bring this all the way down to Y13 to build the next component. So to start the bottom section, we'll just put down a hopper right there. This is going to catch the parcel and the stamp as it comes down. From that, we'll put a powered rail here and some normal rails, and on the back of which there'll be a dispenser. All right, next, we'd like to have a hopper facing out this way and then one up facing into this dispenser here. This is what some tracks are going to go over. Because this section is what breaks the minecart as it's coming in, so we'll put a cactus there and just a block on top, and a block on top of this dispenser as well. So that will break the minecart and whatever's in the minecart comes out and goes up the water stream here, and the minecart itself goes into there ready to be fired again. So to win off the drop the hopper there, we'll put a dropper and then we'll just connect up the tube. And with the soul sand on the bottom, and now we're going to put the water in. So it's of course water source blocks all the way up. Once we get to the top here, just leave it to overflow. We'll just bring out this rail a little bit more. Alright, in order to detect when something goes in there so it gets sent up, we'll just first put a comparator here. And then this is one of the circuits that I could not uh, figure out. Um, I looked at a lot of the videos and, you know, slowed them down. I just couldn't figure out what was happening here, so just like an observer going into nothing. So this part I did rewire. So it does come out quite a lot, and it's just not as compact as the original design, but it does work fine. Um, so if you're wondering why this looks different to what you see in the videos, that is why. It's because I couldn't figure it out, so I just rewired it. But yeah, we want to go up three there, and then down in this sort of circle shape, and we'll go down two more like that. So we've got kind of like two stars, and then coming off of the first star, we'll have two out and then one up like that. So along this we're going to have redstone, a repeater, redstone, and redstone all the way down. We'll have a repeater facing in that way, a redstone here, a torch there, redstone repeater there, and then and put a torch here, it should go out with a block there. So if we test this, perfect. Yep, so again, that's not the original redstone, but it, it works. <laughs> okay, coming over to the other side now, there was something else that I struggled with with um, this part of the circuit, it was the whole crafter stuff. I just could not get to work at all. Uh, but getting rid of the circuit also made it not work. So I'm going to show you how to make it as far as I can tell from the videos and stuff, um, I'll just warn you that it, it doesn't function. And if I figure it out, then it will be in a pinned comment or at the top of the description. So I'm so sorry about that, but I, I really tried my best. So coming off this dispenser, we'll do a zigzag shape. We'll put a comparator coming out of it and a repeater and then a block of redstone there and a piston facing down. Alright, coming off this, a block here, crafter there, crafter there, and a dispenser facing in to the crafter there. This first crafter, this again, this doesn't work so you don't have to fill them up. I'm just showing you how it would happen if it does, if it did function. This would be minecarts. So just go ahead and disable that. We can put a hopper on top and connect it to some chests there. I'm not going to bother because it doesn't function. And then this crafter would be chests and minecarts, like so. And this dispenser will be chests. And of course in this main dispenser will be minecarts with chests. Let's put five blocks across this and we'll have a target block right there, with a block above it and a block to the side here. These will have redstone all the way across, a repeater here on four ticks, a torch there, torch there. 
Next one down here will have three across and redstone across like that. All right, coming back over to this side, we'll have another one of those star shapes there. A repeater here. It's very tight in here, but a redstone there. And a comparator facing out that way. All right, coming off down here, we'll have another row there. We'll come out three. A repeater there on four ticks. And then two normal into a block. Onto the other side, two blocks up with redstone on. Two out with a repeater there. Another block. One thing I missed was a block there and also a repeater here facing into that torch. Okay, so that should be everything. Again, I don't understand that circuit, but the main system works, so you'll just have to top that up manually uh, when it runs out. But for now, we'll just build the portal. Remember, this is at Y13, this bottom section. Please remember which way the tracks go into the portal. So we'll just link that up right now. Now we know they're each linked up to different sides, and when we go through, just make sure we know which side is which. So this one is for receiving. So the left is for receiving, and the right is for sending. Remember to power this side of the track, leave that side. Next for the final section in the nether, we'll just build out some room here. So we said the right is for sending, so it probably makes more sense in this example to go anti-clockwise. But if you do want to go clockwise, maybe just tangle up the lines like I did on, on the first example. So sending is very simple. You just bring out a track and send it to your mail line. That's pretty much as simple as it gets. All right, there we go. There's our hypothetical mail line. This, of course, would go around the whole world or however, however far you want to send mail. So the sending line gets sent into the mail loop, which in this case is going anti-clockwise, but the receiving end actually starts with an item filter in the loop. So we'll start by getting a hopper facing out this way and attaching it to a comparator. And this is just the basic uh, item filter that I'm sure if you're watching a tutorial for this, then you've probably seen it a million times. Apart from this block, so I should have maybe started with that, is going to be a barrel. So in case you haven't seen one of these before, I'll go through it anyway. Got two redstone down from that comparator. We've got a repeater coming in that way and a redstone torch coming off that and we'll put another hopper there. We'll get a bunch of sticks and we'll just call them whatever we want. And then we'll name some paper the name of the person you want to send it to or the name of the stamp or location or whatever. So in this first hopper, we'll put some filler all across like that. And we want to put 18, I believe, in that first hopper. Now in this one, there will be one. When you use this, there will be one that just stays in there like that. That's totally fine. The rest of them will go into the barrel there. So now we want to tell the track to turn once we get a signal here. Uh, and we can do this just by sending the signal up there. All right, so in case you don't know how to do it, I'll just quickly explain what I've done, which is a repeater off that torch, two in front, through this way, going up and pointing into the block we want to change. We can test this by just uh, keeping our eye over here and putting in a thing, making sure it swaps. And as long as they're like this close, it, it will it will swap. It's uh, not too big of a delay, uh, but of course we can always just add delay if your item filter is further down or anything like that. Alright, so now we have the way to swap the tracks. Uh, so we're going to come one upwards, we'll just go across like that. We'll have a hopper facing outwards like that. We'll have a dispenser this way. I did move back the portal by the way if, if that's throwing someone off. A hopper facing out this way and then one also going into this dispenser like that. And then over here, we're just going to have a block down because this is going to be another cactus. Like that. So the track is going to go straight through and turn into the cactus. It is then going to come back up and connect with the main line here. So it should look like this so far. Also going to put a, put a block there. 
and have some redstone across because this is where the detector rail is going to go and then we'll just link that up to the rest of the track. Alright, it's the final stretch now. So coming across from the back here, from this hopper we'll have a comparator facing outwards like that, going up into a block and down here. We'll have redstone on that, a repeater like that into the solid block there, and then just below where this rail is, so just below where that rail is, we'll also put a torch to turn on the rail. This repeater should be on two ticks, and we'll give it a try. So we will of course do a trial run, here's the shorter box with the beacon in, we'll put in our stamp, press the button, off it goes. Get sent around the mail system, you do need a... Uh, Oh, it was wet. <laughs> you do need a trunk loader in there. There it is, you do need a trunk loader in there. Um, I am not going to show you how to build one because I don't need to for demonstration purposes, but I will leave some good ones in the top of the description. But there we go, you saw it all working, so it should be working in your world. Just get some uh, trunk loaders in here in the nether because otherwise you do have to come through and they won't come back out. So definitely vital, I'm just not going to show you that today. But yeah, any issues with this, just contact me either through, you know, leave a comment or you can just contact one of my socials and I will uh, and I will try my best to troubleshoot and help out to see what the issue is. But again, I've had to rewire some of it, I don't really understand it myself. Uh, this is just to help anyone that wants to use this circuit in their worlds who doesn't want to scour through <laughs> lots of videos and VODs to find out how it works. So thank you very very much for watching, I have similar videos on redstone if you're interested in that, otherwise I have a modded SMP series that I'm playing with some friends, so be sure to check those out if you like what you see, and I'll see you next time, thank you for watching.